burn coal that we mine right here in the United States of America and make it work. In open waters for all to see, China's new nuclear-powered submarines, part of an unprecedented display of this country's growing military might as the Navy celebrates its 60th anniversary. As China's fleet rapidly expands and upgrades, it's believed to have 10 nuclear and more than 60 conventional subs. The numbers are quite small, but the capabilities and the development is definitely there and on the table. On Hainan Island in southern China, a new underground submarine base is reportedly able to house eight submarines with potential for up to 20. Here he comes for another That's not far from a confrontation last month between a U.S. surveillance ship, the Impeccable, and five Chinese vessels. He's waving his flag. And the Chinese aren't just building new subs. In recent days, the head of the Navy has made no secret there are plans for an aircraft carrier, possibly more and soon. The Chinese bought this old Soviet aircraft carrier during the 90s. It's now on display at a military theme park. But U.S. military officials and analysts believe the Chinese will have the ability to build their own aircraft carrier within the next few years. The Chinese insist it's all part of being an economic power. A big navy is needed to protect shipping for trade, projecting power far from shore. It's just a normal way for you, a big power to enhance our Navy capacity. But questions remain about specifics. We're not quite clear um, in real terms actually where the Chinese Navy is developing and, and why it's developing. And I think the Chinese really need to articulate that strategy to the West. According to official media, this naval celebration was all about building global trust. Ships from 14 countries took part. But as China begins to reveal just some of its latest high-tech firepower on the high seas, it raises questions and concerns, say critics, about what might be coming next. John Vaughs, CNN Beijing.